and stains. Today we are going to be talking about traditional IRA versus Roth IRA. My name is Noni Nowaseki. I'm a certified public accountant and you're watching Black Pumps TV. So as usual, we're not giving you any tax or financial advice. So what is an IRA, which is an individual retirement account? So there are two types of IRA. There's your traditional IRA and there's your Roth IRA. Your traditional IRA, so for this purpose, I'll call that IRA and then the Roth, I'll call Roth, Roth IRA. Your traditional IRA is tax deferred, which means that your income grows tax deferred and that you're using your pre-tax dollars. So you're getting your deduction immediately the year you put money away, you fund your retirement using IRA. And the income that you get from that investment grows tax deferred until such time that you retire and you withdraw them. Roth IRA, on the other hand, it's called a tax-free investment option, retirement option. The reason it's tax-free is because you've already paid taxes on it, and IRS is not in the business of taxing you twice. So, which means you're not getting a deduction up front. However, the income, the earnings from that investment, from your Roth IRA, grows tax-free. So that's the two difference. One is tax deferred. You get the deduction today where you make the investment. The other one is tax free, but it's you use your after tax money to do that. So what is the amount of contribution? They both, both IRA and Roth IRA, you can contribute up to $5,500 a year if you're under 50. And if you're on the other side of 50, over 50, you can also contribute an additional $1,000, so it's called a catch-up. So for under 50, up to 5,500, over 50, up to 6,500. In either Roth IRA or traditional IRA, you can only do one or the other, unfortunately. And both of them you can invest in, they are both 15 months investment time. So the clock starts on January 1 and ends April 15 of the following year. So you still have time to contribute to either your Roth IRA or your traditional IRA before April 18, because I think the tax is due this year on April 18. So there's also called something called income limitation. Under the traditional IRA, generally, except if you have 401k, there are certain limitations when you have 401k plan as well. There's no limitation on your traditional IRA. On the Roth IRA, however, there is a limitation. If you are an individual filing a single return, the limitation will kick in at $131,000. So if you make $131,000, you cannot contribute to a Roth IRA. And if you're married and you make more, uh, filing jointly and you make more than $196,000, you can no longer contribute to a Roth IRA. So for married filing jointly it starts at 186 so before 186 any income less if you're making less than $186,000 you can actually contribute to your IRA up to the maximum of 5500 or 6500 if you're 50 and above between 186 and 196 is the phase out period so you may not be able to get benefit of the entire amount so it starts phasing out same for individuals it phases out between 116,000 and 131,000 at 131,000 again you can no longer contribute so there's also what is called the required minimum distribution rmd so let's talk about that so what that is and there's there's a difference between ira and roth ira when you're thinking about your required minimum distribution. Under Roth IRA, there is no such thing. The IRS doesn't force you to withdraw your money because why? It's tax free. So IRS doesn't force you to withdraw your money. But under IRA, if you're 70 and a half and you've not withdrawn any of your money, IRS will force you to get a distribution. Exactly, so they can get their tax on that. So at 70 and a half, you have your required minimum distribution if you have traditional IRA. 
So that's another benefit of Roth IRA because you don't have that. Also with Roth IRA, right? So there's something called penalty. If you actually withdraw your retirement income from IRA before you're 59 and a half, you'll be subject to penalty, early withdrawal penalty. You don't have that in Roth IRA. You can actually take out 100% of your contribution to a Roth IRA at any time without the penalty. Now remember, just your contribution. The earnings though, you have to wait 59 and a half. You have to be at least 59 and a half years before you can withdraw that penalty free. So now we've told you all the pros and cons of traditional IRA and Roth IRA. Maybe it's not all of them, but in general. So the stage is set. Which one do you choose? It all depends on your, who you are and your circumstances. Okay, if you are in a very high tax bracket right now and you think this is the highest tax bracket you will ever be in, it makes sense to continue to use traditional IRA. But if you think that you're going to be in a higher tax bracket when you retire, then it makes so much sense, so much sense to be in Roth IRA because all your earnings will grow tax free.